Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about financial mathematics, specifically about amortisation, as shown here in the syllabus. A common way to borrow money to finance larger purchases, such as a house or a car, is to take out a loan. The amount borrowed, plus the interest charged, are paid back in instalments, a series of regular payments over a given time period. The interest is added at regular intervals and is calculated as a percentage of the amount currently owed. The process of repaying a loan with a series of regular payments is called amortisation. Amortisation means that each of the repayments is split between paying off some of the interest and some of the amount borrowed. The loan is paid off gradually by making equal payments at regular intervals. The size of these repayments depends on the length of the loan, the frequency of the repayments, the amount borrowed, the interest rate, and how often the interest is compounded. You can perform calculations related to amortized loans using the Finance Solver application on your calculator. And to access this from the main menu, if you select Financial and then press F2 for Compound Interest. In this application, N is the total number of repayments, I is the annual interest rate, PV is the amount borrowed, PMT is the amount of each repayment. FV is the final amount, set to zero when the loan is repaid. P slash Y are the number of payments made per year. C slash Y are the number of compounding periods per year. N is the total number of compounding periods, not the number of years. To find the number of compounding periods, you multiply the number of years by k, where k is the number of compounding periods in a year. And if the interest is compounded annually or yearly, then k is equal to 1. If the interest is compounded half yearly, that's twice a year, then k is equal to 2. If the interest is compounded quarterly, four times a year, then k is equal to 4. And if the interest is compounded monthly, that's 12 times a year, then k is equal to 12. For a loan, the amount borrowed, PV, is entered as a positive value, because that money is going to you from the lender. When you enter a value for P slash Y, the number of payments per year, the same value is automatically entered into C slash Y, the number of compounding periods per year, as these values are usually the same. The periodic money transfer, PMT, refers to making regular payments over the period of time. PMT is the amount to be repaid each time period, and it is a negative value. When using the Finance Solver application to solve amortised loan problems, your method should be to write down the values of the six variables that you enter into the calculator, as shown in this example here. For the total number of repayment periods, you can either enter 12 times 5 or you can simply enter 60. For the interest rate, enter 15. For the amount borrowed, we enter positive 20,000. For PMT, we can leave that blank because that's what we're going to solve for. For the final value, we enter zero when the loan has been paid off. And for the number of payments per year and the number of compounding periods per year, we enter 12 and then pressing F4 to solve. The PMT gives us monthly repayments 
of $475.80. The total interest charged is found by subtracting the amount borrowed from the total repayments. In the example shown, the total repayments for that 60 lots of $475.80, giving $28,548, and subtracting $20,000, which was the value borrowed, giving a total interest charged of $8,548. In part A of this question, Erica takes out a loan and we're asked to calculate her monthly repayments. So on the calculator, if we press F1 for a repeat calculation. If we begin by finding K, the number of compounding periods per year, and since the interest is compounded monthly, which is 12 times a year, k is equal to 12. So to find the total number of repayments, we need to multiply 12 by 4. So we can type in 12 times 4, or we can simply type in 48. Stating the interest rate, which is 5.5. .5. Stating PV, the amount borrowed, and that's 16,500. So it's a positive value. We can either just ignore the previous PMT value, or we can set it equal to zero. Setting the final value to zero, and setting the payments per year and the compounds per year to 12. To find the monthly repayments, we need to solve for PMT. So we press F4. Given the value shown. Round into two decimal places, Erica's monthly repayments will be $383.73. In part B, to calculate the total amount of interest charged, we calculate the total repayments by multiplying the monthly repayment by 48. Given the amount shown, and if we subtract the amount borrowed, we get the total interest charge of $1,919.52. In this question, Anna can afford to pay £500 a month on a loan, and we need to find the maximum amount that she can borrow. So we press F1 for a repeat calculation. Start by finding K, the number of compounding periods per year, as the interest is compounded monthly, which is 12 times a year, and again, K is equal to 12. Finding the total number of repayments, so that's 12 times a year for 10 years, so 12 times 10, we can type that in, or we can simply type in 120. Stating the interest rate, which is equal to 6. We can either just ignore the previous value of PV, or we can set it equal to 0. Setting PMT the monthly repayments to equal negative 500. Setting the final value, FV, equal to zero, and the payments per year and the number of compounds per year equal to 12. To find the amount Anna can afford to borrow, we need to solve for PV. So pressing F3, Gives the amount shown. Round into two decimal places, we see that Anna can afford to borrow £45,036.73. In part A of this question, we're asked to calculate Caleb's monthly repayments on his mortgage. We start by pressing F1 for a 
repeat the calculation and find K, the number of compounding periods per year. As the interest is compounded monthly, 12 times a year, so K is equal to 12. So to find the total number of repayments, we multiply 12, that's 12 times a year, for 25 years, so we can either type in 12 times 25, or we can simply type in 300. State in the interest rate, which is 5. State in PV, the amount borrowed, and that's 100,000. And you can either ignore the previous PMT value or set it equal to zero. Set in FV, the final value equal to zero for the mortgage to be paid off. And set in the payments per year and the compounds per year equal to 12. To find the monthly repayments, we need to solve for PMT. So pressing F4 gives the amount shown. And round into two decimal places gives Caleb monthly repayments of $584.59. In part B, we're asked to find the outstanding balance on the mortgage, or what remains, after 20 years of repayments. Or again, pressing F1 for a repeat calculation. Much as the information remains the same. Calculating the number of repayments, so that's 12 times a year for 20 years, so we can type in 12 times 20, or we can simply type in 240. Entering the monthly repayments to the nearest cent, so that's negative 584.59. To find the outstanding balance, we need to solve for FV. So pressing F5 gives the amount shown. And again, round into two decimal places, we see the outstanding balance is $30,977.86.